The following is a short video on my snowmelt system in action. Uh, I'm going to try and do this with screen sharing. I've got some pictures and times uh, posted on the pictures so that we can follow it along. Uh, my driveway consists of three, three settings. I have a driveway idle setting which operates at around 33 degrees. I then have a warm up uh, setting that is in anticipation of snow via uh, an alert that I will get on my weather app. Um, that will bump the driveway up to 38 degrees. Uh, and then I have a snow melt condition uh, automation for my driveway, which will take it up to 45 degrees. I considered using uh, snow sensors. However, uh, during the use of my driveway up until this point, they would be absolutely useless as you know, the snow sensor detects when it's snowing. And if my driveway is sitting at 33 degrees, it will take roughly three to four, three hours, four hours to heat the driveway up to a snow melt condition. So, um, I found that not to be very effective. You could heat, your, I can heat my driveway up quicker. Uh, that may not be the best thing to do. So I've just elected to have the three settings. So uh, when I get notified uh, one night, one evening, I was notified it was going to snow overnight. So I changed it from idle to warm up. Uh, and then in the morning when I woke up, this is what I found on the driveway. Okay, so this was at, no, let's go back. This was, this was when I woke up um, at roughly, I went out at 724 and took a picture. This is at 38 degrees, the driveway. So you can see the zones where the line is actually going out here and then this, this zone goes right and right beside it, that's zone five. This zone down here goes left here, which is zone six down there and then up here and then around. Oops, let's go back here. This is zone seven here and this is zone eight. So seven comes out here sort of right beside, uh, or no, this is seven coming out here and then it goes down uh, around this way and then up here and then keeps going around on a concentric internal loop and then goes back. Uh, this is zone eight here that comes down here and you can see it's starting to melt there. Next picture, uh, this is looking the other way, uh, zone one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, all the zones are coming in through here so this is why it's all melted here. Uh, but uh, at 38 degrees, it's not sufficient enough to, to melt the snow in the middle of these uh, concentric rings. Uh, so this is 725. Uh, this shows all the lines come out from my garage at this point and there's spray foam insulation over all this. So it shows that so the ground is not being melted. So that's effect it was effective in doing it that way. And it shows where uh, this is zone uh, six coming out here and this is zone seven and that's zone eight coming out with uh, return lines. Uh, the next picture, so this is the next picture is 740. Okay, so a few minutes later, okay, not much change. Um, it was garbage day, there was garbage out there. Uh, then the next is eight o'clock. So you can see there's a little more snow melt and the blue boxes, I put those out to, uh, Subsequently, uh, and then from eight, we go to 848. So here you can see it's getting lighter out uh, and there's been a significant amount of snow. So this is where at that the 730, I bumped it from uh, 38 degrees up to 45 degrees, uh, which is my snow melt. Uh, so this is it starting to actually work. Uh, so 848, nine o'clock, I'll go back to 848, you can see here. You can see that I need a little more flow going. I've got to balance the system a little better. Maybe these two zones aren't quite getting enough. Uh, a little tinkering to do. Nine o'clock, 
949, so it's 40, 49 uh, minutes later, most of the snow is gone. And you have to realize this is also probably only about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 28 degrees Fahrenheit, not really cold. So the system is pretty effective at this temperature. When we get into colder temperatures, like uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit minus, you know, mi minus uh, 10, minus 16 Celsius, uh, it takes longer to uh, accomplish the process. Uh, then we're at 1020 here. You can see the driveway is actually starting to dry dry out. Uh, oh, garbage is gone. Uh, so roughly 730 to 1030, 1020 was three hours to accomplish this, uh, this process of snow melt. Um, and uh, there you go.